Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm gonna be making over this piece that I previously did on my channel. I'm just not ready to put her on market yet. I think she needs something else on the drawers, so I don't know, I'm gonna do transfer stencils. I have some options. I'm gonna bring you along for the whole journey, so if you wanna see this upgrade of my makeover, just keep watching. If you want to know how this piece originally started out, you can check out the video I'm linking here. It was part of my furniture flipping teacher collab where we flipped our pieces in 24 hours. And this is what I ended up with and it's pretty. I just want to level it up a little bit. It's very farmhousey now and for some reason I want to make this piece boho. Today's video is sponsored by Dixie Bell Paint Company. I'm going to be using their bells and whistles line to add some drama to my drawers and stick around to the end of the video for a chance to win $100 to their website. Since my piece is pretty complete, I'm just hopping right in. All I have to do to prep today is remove my drawers and remove the hardware. These drawers are already sealed, so whatever I choose to go on top is going to be ready to go. Someone was very nice. The previous owner has all these drawers numbered, so I have them in order, but in case they get out of order, they are numbered on the bottom. Bells and Whistles is a great line if you're looking to add some embellishments to your piece. They have transfers, mylar stencils, and silkscreen stencils. There was so much to choose from. I put it out to you guys and you were not much help. It was pretty split all across the board. So I ended up going with a large mylar stencil. This one is called Mud Cloth and I love the geometric shape of it and I think it's gonna give it a real boho look. What's great about this really big stencil is that it's gonna help me get all these drawers done quickly. Now that I got it placed where I want it, I'm just gonna take the stencil down to keep it in place. I want this to be a monochromatic look, so I grabbed my terracotta color, which I used on the whole piece, and I'm grabbing my round small brush because I like to stipple when I stencil. Um, you could use a bigger brush than this, but I want to have control, so I'm going to use a small one. I want a textured look, so I didn't water down my paint at all so that it'll be a little bit stiffer and thicker. And I'm going in this stippling motion. Again, that's gonna give me texture. You just wanna make sure that you don't overload your paintbrush too much because that's gonna make your stencil bleed. Hey, I'm not a stenciler, so this could be go completely bad, but if it does, we'll just fix it. Can't be afraid to try new things. Woo, that's cool. Ooh, I like it. I cleaned my stencil by wiping back all the paint off and then putting it in my utility sink and using a scrubby sponge to get off any little stubborn bits. And I let my paint dry about an hour before I would go in and use this again. Okay, so this is dry, so I'm gonna go ahead in and do my second stencil. And I'm just gonna line, I gotta figure out how to line this up. These triangles right here are the ones that I'm using to line it up. I used delicate painter's tape on the portions that were already painted. This is my first time working with a big stencil like this and it really makes the job go a lot faster. Definitely my least favorite part about stenciling is having to clean the stencil. It would be perfection if you didn't have to clean the stencil. Less paint when you're stenciling is definitely the way to go. I don't really load my brush up that much and to get the majority of it off, I kind of like will do this little guy to get it off and then really go in and fill in those sections. One more to go. This stencil is really forgiving. Um, it's kind of wavy, so you don't have to have it lined up perfectly. I could have probably done a better job of laying it out at the beginning and maybe starting center and working my way out. That's a tip for next time. But well, it is really forgiving, so I'm liking the way that it's looking. 
I swear my piece is not this orange. It looks so orange on camera. My stencil is dry, so I'm gonna seal the drawers and I'm gonna use what I used on the top. This is the clear coat in flat and I'm gonna put it on with a sponge so it goes really fast. So I'm just pouring out some of my clear coat and dampening my sponge. And then I just get a little bit of that on the sponge and wipe back the excess. And then it's really easy just to go in a long strokes across each drawer front. And I overlap by about 30%. I really love using this sponge on flat surfaces because it goes really fast and you get a super smooth finish. I also had some time to investigate and see that I was missing two drawer stops, so I ordered some on Amazon and I'm just gonna hammer those in. Once everything was dry, I put all the drawers back in. When I originally made this piece over, I was very torn about the hardware. Let me remind you in case you didn't see that video. Y'all, I really like these ones. Okay, I mean, I'm not gonna go against the people. <laughs> the people have spoken. I'm not, I'm not gonna go against the people. I was never a fan of the original hardware I had on this piece, and now that it's more boho, I picked a hardware knob that was more fitting. These are from Hobby Lobby as well, and this week they were 50% off, so I saved a lot of money on the hardware this time around. Just to remind you, here's what I started off with and my first makeover, and now here is the piece today. I love this. It looks completely different than the last makeover with just a few little changes. I like the boho kind of eclectic look of the piece now. I like them both though, so you let me know which one you like better. And don't forget, you have a chance to try these products out yourself. You could win $100 to Dixie Bell's website. It's really easy to enter. Just make sure you're subscribed to their YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel here, and leave a comment below letting me know which Bells and Whistles product I should try next time. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out some of my other videos before you leave. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time.